Hi guys, it's Wombat and I'm in Russia. I'm in St. Petersburg on the experimental beta 1.35 and I am running DirectX 11 as I have been since more or less day one. Uh, and the reason I'm pointing that out is that what we are going to talk about today might differ substantially on whether you are using DirectX 11 or if you are still using DirectX 9. Default 135 experimental beta uses DX9 and that is all good and well but the future of ETS and ATS for that matter is DirectX 11 so that is why I'm already using DX11. It's a setting you can change in the config.cfg file. There is a line there where it says DX9 and you can change that easily to just DX11 and hopefully if your hardware is up to it you are running DX11 instead. And am I doing... oh crapper. I shouldn't have taken that turn. Um, at least... let's see. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Let's see. Yep, definitely took a wrong turn. Should have. Okay. Uh, we'll fix that. I'll back it up. And um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anywhere. Where was I? Um, DirectX 11. So. DirectX 11 and DirectX 9 uh, have completely different uh, impacts on your game uh, and without knowing myself too much about the technical part of it, uh, the um, PMG files uh, that all map modes uses needs to be updated. Um, if they are of an older version, something like that, to work properly on the X11. Uh, again, I'm not going to be technical about it because I don't know exactly what the technical aspect of it is. But apparently there are differences between the X11 and what works on the X11 and what works on the X9. There are already videos out there showing you map combos for ETS-135. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about whether they work or not. I'm, instead, I'm going to say I have no map combo for 135 and it might take quite a while before I have any. Uh, possibly because of the fact that I'm using DX11. Uh, so how do I know that I won't have any combos? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, because uh, I have been working on that for the last 16 hours or so, trying to get any combo to work. And none of them does. Uh, so to start with the main mods, pro mods, uh, obviously pro mods doesn't work. It, it doesn't even matter if you are running DX9 or DX11 Pro Mods uh, needs an update to work with 135 it needs several but yeah it needs updates to work with 135 uh, among other reasons because Germany has been updated uh, we for that same reason have to wait for an update to TSM and MHA Pro as well uh, none of those works and that is just by looking at the new version of Germany uh, there are possibly other things that will have to be changed as well uh, again because of the fact of DX11 uh, and specifically because of DirectX11 uh, we have problems with maps like Rust Map, Southern Region, Great Step, Romania Extended, and therefore also YKS RSK, and a ton of other maps as well. 
uh, I've been trying to get something to work and the first thing you do is you just try, just try to load the game with different map mods and that isn't hard at all I can do a ton of map combos and get it to load uh, so clearly the uh, the way you load things isn't part of the problem here uh, and in most cases or in all cases actually where I have been able to load the game I'm then able to look at the map that is the next step uh, when you want to verify that your map combo works you open up the map and see you zoom in to see what is working and what is not working and there I found some interesting problems with um, the combination of Ross map and Ross. I think at least that is what the problem is. Uh, if I am using Sergey 061's uh, version of the Ross map map and def file in combination with Ross, uh, most of the cities on Ross do not have any names when I look at the map. <laughs> really strange, odd problem. Um, uh, even stranger considering that it do show the names of the different cities on ROS if I'm using my own version of ROS map, uh, map and def file. Uh, for those of you who have been using my long haul combo, that means that my ROS, you know that my ROS map uh, version only contains three cities on ROS map. I'm basically using ROS map as a road connection between Great Step. Ross and Southern Region. Uh, so there's something there with Ross by just looking at the map. That also indicates, since you can't load the names of the cities, that the, the uh, map itself, you won't be able to haul on it. Um, so um, I concluded my work on, on Ross there. Uh, Ross is not working properly. Uh, of, of course, I have been using Sergei's Ross map with Ross on 134, and that works. So it's it's a problem with 135, not with uh, Sergei's version of the Ross map map and def files, and the current version of Ross. Uh, the other things uh, I noticed was that most other map mods do work there are problems with EAA it's not compatible uh, and since the files are um, password protected or something like that you can't open EAA files in in either 7-zip or WinRAR um, you can't change the manifest files uh, that is the first problem with with um, EAA uh, it's the same problem with uh, Republic of China. You can't use that either for the same reason. Um, if you were able to, to uh, modify the manifest files, you could possibly then have other problems as well, of course, but I, since I can't change the manifest files of at least some of the ROC mods, there are. Uh, no reason for me to speculate in whether it will then work if I'm able to change the manifest files. I can't, so it is what it is. Uh, if we look at then the um, map of um, um, Canada, that one loads, uh, but it crashes when you try to use it, so um, that is a um, that is also a map mod that doesn't really work. Going back then to um, uh, to um, Russia, uh, if we exclude Rus uh, Russian open spaces, we have Ross map and Ross map loads. You then click on the drive button, and you are able to haul. Uh, Possibly even in Russia. I honestly didn't check it uh, because I never got there before the game crashed. 
so the game crashes again this is using DirectX 11 the game crashes when I try to hold on ROS map uh, the game loads with Romania Extended and YKS RSK, but it crashes whenever I try to just press the drive button. I won't even get onto the map and do any hauling anywhere. It just crashes. So that is a no-go as well. Um, great step. I was able to haul on Great Step, but the map crashed after a bit. Uh, didn't haul for more than like 10 minutes on Great Step before the game crashed. Uh, same goes for Southern Region, the game crashes. Uh, and of course I didn't even try using any map mods that requires pro mods. Um, what else is there? We have Afromap, we have a PJ Indo and Antarctica Vanamap. Uh, I didn't try any of those four map mods for the simple reason that it doesn't make any sense to make a map combo with just maps south of Europe and nothing else. <laughs> so basically we have a situation right now, again this is on DirectX 11, when no maps work, add-on maps that is. Which leaves us with uh, standalone maps. And that is where I am right now. I have successfully hauled for about 1000 kilometers on a standalone map. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because I'm doing a, a map review of it and I will post that map review uh, early next week. For those of you who are members of my YouTube site, you already have access to it and everyone else will have access to it too in just a day or two. Um, but that is the only standalone map I successfully have been able to haul on so far. Uh, there are other map mods, uh, standalone maps, which I have tried they didn't work. Hungary being the one that I was most interested in trying out. Uh, Hungary didn't work. There is several other map mods that I'm still to test that I haven't tested yet. Uh, possibly one of the most important one for me is the Grand Utopia. I haven't tested it yet. I will, uh, considering how things are with all other map mods I've tested so far, I don't have a lot of hope, but uh, you know, um, why not? I'm going to test it. I haven't tested. Let's see what happens with it. The Iranian map, haven't tested it yet. Uh, RBR and uh, other El Dorado, uh, Brazil to Total X, haven't tried them out yet. Republic of Aloma, haven't tried it. Uh, Nino Saxon, haven't tried that either. Uh, several other map mods, um, standalone maps that I haven't tried so far. Uh, there is also some uh, add-on maps uh, that I'm not using on any of my map combos, so they are in general going below the radar. Uh, since I had so many problems <laughs> with, with the ones that I do use, I wanted to try out some of them, so I tested the Romania map by Mirfi didn't work. The new Slovakia map by Kimi Slimi didn't work either. <laughs> uh, so so uh, yeah, things are looking grim right now. But again, this is all based on DirectX 11. Things could look completely different on DirectX 9. And also, again, uh, people have been posting map combos for 135, so I assume that it is working at least some maps, a lot of maps, uh, using DirectX 9 and 135. But I'm going to stay on DirectX 11 because that is the future, and I want to 
get a feel for what the future looks like. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do once I've gone through all my standalone maps, um, I'm gonna give you an update on that of course. And then I'm gonna start look a little bit uh, at different truck mods that we all love, RJL obviously being one of them, and again using DirectX 11. Uh, I will look at uh, some trailer mods uh, like Chassis Cats for instance and uh, Road Hunter, things like that. Um, and see where we are with those. I have, to be honest, greater hopes that they will work uh, than I have with the remaining maps that I will be looking at. Um, what I do know for sure is that the entire map creating community, we, they have a lot of work uh, in front of them. Which is unfortunate of course, but what can we do? Uh, the update to 135 and DirectX 11 especially is inevitable we have to go there, SES have to go there, there is no way around it. We can't stay on DX9 uh, like forever. Uh, so this is something, this is a painful process that we will have to go through. Uh, I know that I'm sounding like this is the end of the world. Uh, it really, really isn't, but of course I am a bit worried uh, especially regarding map mods that are more or less uh, abandoned, but <laughs> but not really abandoned. Uh, I'm thinking about the um, uh, Ross, for instance. Uh, Ross isn't the best looking map out there, of course, uh, but it is there. There is a lot of people who like it. Uh, it have been a great map for, for me to use. I'm especially thinking about my long haul to Forkuta. What is going to happen to Ross now? And uh, once DirectX 11 is the only thing you can use, we don't know. Uh, same goes for Rust map. We don't know what the state of things with Rust map are. It certainly looks like Aldimator has left and abandoned Rust map, but we don't know that for sure. Uh, as long as his model files work, it's it's fine. We have Sergey, for instance, working on uh, having a working um, unofficial update. There are several other unofficial updates in the works at, as well. Uh, but what happens if we need new model files? Um, who knows? Uh, there are other maps like the Great Hungary map, the standalone Hungary map by Frank007. It has been more or less abandoned since 1.28 I think it was. and constantly being updated by other people uh, because it is a very very good looking map especially considering that it doesn't require any map mods it's it's kind of the map to have the standalone map to have if you don't have any map dlcs we don't know what will happen to that map whether it's the end for the Hungary map by Frank007 uh, now that DirectX 11 is coming. Um, there are several other map mods as well that I'm a bit worried about. Uh, let's see what happens. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I do apologize for this video being so dark, uh, not only graphically but literally me speaking. I don't have uh, a lot of good things to say right now about the state of map mods, uh, but I can say that SES isn't doing this because SES want to get rid of the modding community. On the contrary, uh, if you have any truck mods on 135, you will notice that when you 
want to buy a truck and want to do that from the map uh, and uh, click on the truck dealers if you have a truck mod there is now a new dealer called mod truck dealer uh, probably somewhere where, where all the different truck mods will be available uh, looks similar to um, to uh, trailers you can buy where you have Krone, uh, Svartsmüller etc etc there are something very very similar like to that in the um, trailer dealers now uh, so the future of mods and SES it's not coming to an end on the contrary and with that said thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video because you hated what I had to say don't give me a thumbs down because hey don't shoot the messenger <laughs> take care guys bye bye